You know how a house can't get electricity without wires? It's the same thing with your web page. It can't look beautiful unless you connect your CSS the right way. And today, I'll show you the three correct ways to do it. If you're new to CSS, stay with me till the end because this will finally make everything clear. Before we start, there is one important thing. We are going to use this one CSS example in all three methods. Background color is CSS property, while yellow is its value. Don't worry about what property or value means yet. I'll teach that in the next video. For now, changing the background color helps us confirm that our CSS is actually working. Ready? Let's go. First one, inline CSS. Inline CSS means you write CSS inside an HTML tag using the style attribute. So let's select the body tag. Now inside it, we add the style attribute like this. What does the style attribute do? It simply tells the browser, hey, apply this style, this yellow background, to this exact element. Just like calling a student named A, only A will answer. A. Sir? Here you are the principal choosing an element, and whatever element you select is the selector. If you put the style attribute in the body tag, only the body will change. If you put it in the H1 tag, only the heading will change. Inline CSS is great for tiny changes or quick testing, but it's not good for big projects. Let's clear that and move on. The next one is internal CSS. Internal CSS lives inside a style tag, and the style tag tells the browser, everything inside me is CSS. It must live inside the head section before the body starts. Here's how it works. To style any element, you simply type the name of the element, which I referred to as a selector, for example, body, then curly brackets, then your CSS property and value. And boom, our internal CSS works. Internal CSS is perfect for single page web page because everything is in one place, but it can't control multiple pages at once. Let's clear that too. And now the best method, external CSS. External CSS means writing your CSS in a separate file. Here's what to do. Step one, create a new file. Save it with any name you want, but the extension must be .css, not .html, because HTML files end with .html. I already made a video showing how to create a new file. It works the same way. The only difference is this time you save it as .css. You'll find the links for creating new files in a code and SPCK editor in the description. Remember, before creating a file, choose or create a folder. Now, let's link the CSS file to your HTML. Follow me as I link mine. First, we need